Hey guys, happy day seven of Vlogmas. Today I'm just working. I obviously took the kids to school. Today is my aunt's birthday. Um, so that's exciting. I've sent her a note and did I tell you I'm doing Invisalign? Invisalign. And this is my Propel. You do this, it's a, um, it kind of has this vibration thing. So you push this. It's very minimal. Um, my electric toothbrush is more, it has more vibration than this. You do it for 10 minutes. Each time you hit this button, it's for five minutes. Um, and yeah, I forget when I started it, but I have 23 trays. I'm on tray 13. So today I moved to tray 13 and um, I could definitely feel movement. So I don't know why I said that other than I feel like I talk funny with them on. I need to balance my checkbook today. So I need to do that. I'm working on admin stuff with work. Today is Wednesday. I'm trying to think. We have karate at 4 p.m. And I got to figure out what I'm making for dinner. I heard the construction guys here today. And it looks like someone is driving up. I don't really have a whole lot. I mean, again, this is just my life. Uh, someone made a comment in yesterday's video about the kids having their advent chocolate at night. And I agree. It's probably not the smartest. <laughs> I will say Santi doesn't like chocolate. <laughs> so he likes to open it up but not anything major. Um, and Camila, she wants to eat Santi's. I don't let her eat all of it, but she was the first to fall asleep. So I don't know what that says. I should do it in the morning. We just don't have enough time. So maybe I change it up to where we do it right after dinner before karate. Although today, the four o'clock karate, we don't eat before the four o'clock session. So We'll see what happens there. The prompt for today, I didn't look, so I'll have to look and come back. Um, but yeah, that's that's what's going on for today. Just working. And um, I also have to plan a trip to Los Angeles. So I need to reach out to some customers to see who will see me for lunch or coffee or anything like that. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in the next clip. All right, so today's prompt is investments then and now. So this is investments 2021 versus 2022. Let's talk about what we had last year versus this year. So I'm just looking at a spreadsheet while I'm talking to you guys. Last year consisted of TD Ameritrade, which is my main um, Ira. Then let's just say V. Then um, this is 403B. This is Jim. Um, then I have two other um, accounts. I have two other accounts that are 401ks that are no longer contributing to meaning I worked at a place where I'm just not um, contributing money towards it anymore but they still are there and I need to transfer them and transfer them into an IRA <laughs> but um, okay so one is called REL and the other one is a Fidelity which I need to just transfer into an IRA so they're 401ks and that's it. Okay, so last year, um, the total of this was at yes. the end. Really? <laughs> at the end of November of 2021, it was 390. So total investments, 874. Now, this year, I have added to, um, so I still have my IRA, right? We have, we also did a, an I bond because I follow Mommy Trader and I 
followed her directions so easy. Um, Jim's 403B. Jim. And then my 401K and my current job. Then the other ones that I still need to transfer. Okay. So these are old 401Ks. So all in all, so two more additional ones, but because the stock market just was crazy this year and we lost a lot of money, <laughs> the new total at the end of November was 348. What are you doing, Camila? 090. So she's blowing into my hair. And like I told you, I'm not editing these videos. So this is a difference in our portfolio of... 42,784. Now, while we are down, we fully funded Jim's um, 403B this year, and I think the max was 20,500, 20, if I recall correctly. So that was max this year, which means that his income will be down because it's, it's a tax deductible, right? Um, it comes out pre-tax. So that's good. Um, so I would say we contributed more in 2022, even though our value is worth less. I would say that we bought when the stock market was on sale. And that's what I'm going to kind of focus on, not really worry about this $42,000 loss, and really believe in compound interest and, and believe that, you know, it's what everybody says that um, you buy when. Things are low, and eventually with compound interest, it'll grow and we'll be fine. So that is today's prompt, investments versus 2021 versus 2022, and what the differences are. Let me know down below, is this something that you look at? Did you make any major changes? Have you seen a major dip in your investments? Um, leave me a comment down below and let me know. See you in the next clip. Let's see. Okay. No, we're not getting those buff cheeks. Okay, let's buff do cheeks. number seven. Number seven. It's on the top of the Christmas tree. Yep. Number seven. You, you didn't it? record me. You're so mean. I am recording. Oh, my. Did record two Different ball wrappers. Balls? Different ball balls. wrappers. Chocolates. Oh, my. I thought oh, that, nice that was the Santa. I, I thought that was a Santa. Santa. What is it? 